Hi, this is Jamie from Raven's Desk Reviews. I purchased the Max Oak Blue Eddy EB240, which is the 2400 watt hour solar generator with a 1000 watt pure sine inverter. I did two different tests to see how long it would run. It was more tests than review because there are several reviews on the Max Oak Blue Eddy EB150, which is the 1500 watt hour battery, and they are identical other than the fact that the one I have has a higher capacity. Um, so I will post a link to a video that I like to watch that's about the uh, 1500 watt hour battery, which should tell you everything else you would need to know. My whole point of doing this video is just to see how long it would last. I hooked it up to my PlayStation 4 and my projector. And uh, with one bar left, I had uh, gotten about eight and a half hours. And I stopped it there. It probably would have gotten about ten and a half or so uh, if, if I'd let it run completely down. But I didn't want to do that to my PlayStation 4 because it doesn't like it when the power goes out. Um, then I also connected it to my full-size refrigerator. And it got 31 hours out of that with um, two bars of battery remaining. And I stopped it there because uh, I didn't think that was going to be enough for it to make it through the night. And I didn't want to wake up to a refrigerator full of warm food. So anyway, I uh, hope you like it. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks. Okay, so it's fully charged. And I have got my PlayStation and my projector hooked up to it. So right here, my PlayStation and the projector is plugged into this power strip right here and i guess i'm also going to be running the gopro also because i don't want the battery to die while i'm doing the time lapse of the battery going down on the blue eddy the gopro is also going to be running off of the blue eddy 2400 watt hour battery because I don't want the battery to die while I'm doing this time lapse so that you guys can see the battery meter run down. I don't know how well it's going to work because the screen turns off if I'm not mistaken. So every now and then I'll have to turn it back on and show you. Okay, maybe you guys can see I have my projector on with the PlayStation. I'm going to watch YouTube videos. And who knows what else, maybe play some video games, but I'm going to show you where we're at right now with the power on the Blue Eddy. Now there are a lot of videos about the different specifications of the 1500 watt hour uh, Blue Eddy. And as far as I'm aware, this is identical other than the fact that it's just got a bigger battery. So this is more of a, just to show you what this thing can power. So right now we're using about 200 watts of power, so I have a feeling this is going to last for quite a few hours, but I may be wrong. Um, and I know this wouldn't necessarily be the most practical thing to use something like this for. If it was the only thing you had, you would be more likely to plug your refrigerator up to it or something to that effect. Um, and I plan on testing that out too. That'll have to wait because on to charge this from the wall it takes about 15 hours to charge it completely so we'll see maybe next weekend I'll do something to see what it can do with the full-size refrigerator anyway for now on with the watching YouTube videos and seeing how long this thing lasts doing this we're starting this test at 1 10 p.m. Saturday January the 25th so the time lapse isn't going to work because the display doesn't stay on so I'll just randomly do a little clip of where the power's at and tell you what time it is so we'll see how long this lasts okay it's 2 12 p.m. we're still streaming YouTube and we haven't even used 20 percent of the battery Based on the fact that it's only using about 200 watts, this should last about 12 hours if I'm doing the math right. So, 
We'll probably have to extend this test into tomorrow. It is 9.42 p.m. Still streaming YouTube. We just dropped down to one bar on the battery. 9.42 p.m. That means it's been about eight and a half hours, a little over eight and a half hours. Um, just with that one bar left, it'll probably be about ten and a half hours that I got out of it. Maybe a little more, maybe doing the math wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and call it because it's bedtime and that one bar is not going to last that long tomorrow. So anyway, but I'd say doing this for 10 hours, not too bad. If you have a power outage, I doubt you're going to be sitting there for 10 hours um, binge watching anything. So I think this is more than adequate. Okay, I have the Max Oak Blue Eddy 2400 watt hour solar battery plugged into my full size refrigerator. Uh, right now it's not pulling anything because the compressor's not on. When I turn it on and the light comes on, you can see it's pulling 70 or 57 watts, and the light is on. So I guess we'll see what happens when the compressor comes on and if it can handle it. It should be able to, but. I'll let you guys know. Okay, I opened the freezer for just a few seconds. It was enough to make the compressor turn on. It, sur it um, surged to like 830 watts for a split second, and then now it's pulling 160 watts to run the compressor. So at that rate, I think it's pulling less than the PlayStation and the... Um, projector were together so we'll see how long this might last okay it's been 15 hours and the max oak blue eddy 2400 watt hour battery is still running my full size refrigerator and it's down to three bars so we've gotten 15 hours out of two bars worth of battery um, I have to go to work here in a minute. I'll be gone for about eight hours, so I should still have another bar or so left when I get home. I'm going to let it keep running and hope for the best. So, anyway, we'll see. check back on it in a little while. Okay, I'm home from work now. It's been 28 hours that the Max Oak Blue Eddy 2400 watt hour battery has been running my full-size refrigerator and it still has two bars of battery life left <clears throat> the settings on the refrigerator and freezer are there so they're um not as high as they'll go but i mean that's the settings they've been on that's the settings that the refrigerator and freezer have been on since uh i got here so they're keeping things nice and cold and the freezer's frozen so um, I didn't turn anything down just for this test. With two bars of battery left, I'm going to go ahead and call it in about 31 hours. This could probably get another three or four hours at least, but I don't see it making it until morning though. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and plug it back into the wall. That's 31 hours running a full-size refrigerator. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. I, um, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you.